We want to be teachable. And now, it, the way it says it here is to, to not despise the Lord's discipline. And I want to encourage you to, to, to expand your view of God's wisdom, that God's wisdom is going to include some discipline in your life. And I know that you don't love discipline because I don't know anybody who wakes up in the morning and is like, dear Lord Jesus, I want discipline and I want it now, you know? No, he said, God, I want wisdom and I want it now. But one of the ways that God is going to get wisdom into us is he's going he's to discipline us like as a father would to a child. He's, he's going to correct our path. He's going to steer us in a different direction. He's going he's to guide us to the right way. And that discipline isn't always going to feel comfortable. It's not always going to be pleasant. But we can trust that it's always going to be good. Because we know that our heavenly father is a good father. And just as a, an earthly father would, would discipline a son in a loving way to correct him and to put him on the right path, so our God desires for us to walk in the right path. And one of the ways that God wakes us up and puts us on the right path is through discipline. Jerry Bridges says it like this, uh, the discipline of God is not to punish us, but is to transform us. The, the discipline of God is not to punish us. God's not trying to be punitive. He, he, this isn't God trying to be mean and angry, like, you need to get your life together. No, this is God's desire to transform us from the inside out so that we look more like Jesus. And the way that that's going to happen is when we're teachable. And we say, God, teach me wisdom. God, correct my path. Lord, Lord lead me into the right decisions and and so we need to put ourselves in a posture of being teachable before him. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.